Hey, Golden Ones. It is I, the Coldbald. Last week, we went over the begin method of Sprite Batch. This week, we are going to look over all the overrides of the draw method. I will go over them in order of how many parameters they have. Let's get right to work. The simplest two draw methods take a texture, a position, and a color. One uses a rectangle for positioning, while the second uses a vector 2. We've used the rectangle one prior for our Pong clone. Both assume that you want to draw the entire texture you pass to it and tint it the color you give it. If you don't want to tint your image, white is the best color of choice. The main difference is that the vector 2 position makes the width and height of the image you are drawing the same as the texture you are using, while the rectangle version you can change the size to whatever you choose. The next two add one more parameter, changing the draw's behavior a little. A nullable version of a rectangle is added. This is where the sprite exists in the texture in pixel coordinates. This is used when you only want to draw a portion of the texture you are sending it, like if you want to use a sprite sheet. If you pass null as the argument, it will treat it like it's the whole texture, just like the previous two draw methods. Finally, we have the two most complicated overrides. They add on four more parameters. The first two are the angle and point in which you rotate around for rotation. The angle is always in radians. The origin is a vector 2 that will usually be between 0, 0 and 1, 1, though you can rotate around a position outside its drawn box. Point 0.5, point 0.5 is the middle of the drawn box. Here are two spinning clock hands showing off how this works. The next parameter is used to flip the sprite on its axes. You can pass SpriteFX.Flip horizontally, SpriteFX.Flip vertically, or SpriteFX.None. You can also and together both the flip horizontal and flip vertical to do both. The final parameter is used in conjunction with the back to front and front to back drawing modes. Correct values are between 0 and 1. 0 is the back while 1 is the front. Outside of back to front and front to back modes, this argument is ignored. I hope you learned something about Sprite Batch this week. Next week we'll go over the basics of shaders. If you like what you're seeing and haven't already, think about liking and subscribing to this video. We'll get more advanced as I finish covering the basics. As always, stay gold, code bold, and farewell from the code bold.